Day 36, we worked on React Router 1, and this is an introduction to the dynamic routing that for that you can use for single page applications. And I understand the basic routing routings, but once it gets to the more advanced stuff, um, I don't have a firm handle on that yet. The documents are kind of vague, in my opinion, so they're not as great as, say, the React documents or something. But I was able to work through some of the challenges today and using the browser router um, and then the route component and then the link component as well that comes from the React Router DOM package, NPM package. So the project today was basically just working with a basic nav bar and also a movie card uh, project. So I was able to get through those and I'm working on the stretch goals but it doesn't seem like it's working there might be some kind of kink or mistypo or something like that so I'll keep trying other than that um, there was an offer to become a project manager believe it or not uh, this next coming Monday September 17th and it's for the part-time class cohort uh, part-time three cohort and I was going to look into it because I am looking for a part-time job now so it seems like a great chance to help other people as well as uh, make some cash uh, money for like say gas or daily spendings like that so I'm gonna look into that now I'll, I'll update you guys as I move along other than that it's been a so-so day not the greatest day uh, I don't feel like I've been as productive but um, I did get met through the basic challenges so let's keep on going the topic for today was React Router uh, 2 and it was the same project for the most part from yesterday so we worked on the same thing and I finished most of the MVP goals and just started working on the uh, stretch challenges some of the things that we went over are passing down different um, uh, like things like location match and history and it allows you to uh, kind of navigate a lot better within the React Router uh, realm. And then we also learn how to nest components in different applications. So like for example, if you had like, uh, I don't know, a basketball team roster, right? So you have one big list of uh, the team and then you have each individual player. So when you click on that, it opens up the player. And then say for example, you want to uh, open up more details about that specific player or like maybe like options or kind of like what teams they played for. You click on that and it opens a another menu. So basically, it's kind of like nesting. You can open things accordingly and it's all on the same page, so it's not hard refreshing. It's just kind of rendering different things as you hit the right path. So it's just more React Router, going deeper and doing a little bit more advanced stuff. And we also learned a little bit about the history so when you have the history, you can use a dot push and you can navigate around different parts of your website. The thing with that is that you have to wrap uh, a browser router on the app and also wrap the component in something called a width router. And then the last thing we picked up was called a uh, nav link. It's, it's kind of like a link, except you can throw styles on there and it can also conveniently uh, display the styles when the component is active so I thought that was pretty cool and that's it for the most part today the project is the same I'm still working on it um, and then tomorrow will be HTTP and Ajax so this is day 38 it's HTTP Ajax 1 we just finished a homework project today and the topics that we covered today are using promises and how to chain them using then and catch to catch all the errors and we also went over the AJAX, which stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. And then we also went over the different HTTP methods like get, post, uh, delete, and put. And that's used to perform like CRUD operations on the database backend usually. And then we also learned about Axios, which is another package that you can use to request data from APIs. Now I've always use fetch API and that seems to work well. Ax Axios does pretty much the same thing except I think one extra thing it does it removes the extra 
uh, having to JSON parse the object or something like that. I remember, um, I don't remember the exact line, the code for it, but it removes one extra step, one extra line from it. So the project today was pretty simple for me. Um, I worked through it pretty quickly. Um, didn't have too many, too much trouble. Basically, we pulled data from an API that they already set up for us, and then we had to render out the different um, friends from the array back from the data that we get. And then also, as part of the stretch challenge, which is an extra thing, I added a add a new friend feature. So you can put in their name, age, and email. And then once you submit that, it will uh, go back to the app, uh, spread it into the state. And also I made a function to put a, uh, a put request back at the Axios uh, address that we pulled the data from earlier. So overall, a really good day. And um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow uh, for HTTP AJAX 2. So yeah, that's it. Just completed day 39, HTTP AJAX number two. And today we use the same project from yesterday. I finished most of the MVP already and I was just working on the stretch challenges. And today I was trying to implement the update feature which I eventually got to, but I got stuck a while on one of the components with trying to filter out the specific uh, friend from the friends list. So I got stuck on that for like an hour or so, but I was a bit eventually able to get through it. And today we learn mostly about the other HTT methods like put and delete. And we use the same example from last class about the Avengers and just going over that list, deleting it, updating it, and that sort of thing. So overall, it was a so-so day. I didn't have the best day but I plan to read more of the docs and try a couple more examples to see what I can pick up from it. Um, the way that the instructor wrote his code was kind of different from what I wrote. So that's one thing you'll find as you get into uh, some of these projects because there's a lot of ways to go about it. So eventually you'll have to figure out your own way to implement things. And you can only use the instructor's example um, just uh, as a reference instead of, uh, you know, uh, code for code copy so just something to look out for and tomorrow will be the sprint challenge I feel just fine I feel ready for it the react router and the HTTP Ajax things that we were taught were not too difficult the basics I'm sure both topics have their advanced um, concepts but you know I guess we dive that we dive into that later as we get into our jobs and as applications need different features. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll let you guys know how my sprint challenge challenge goes tomorrow. Okay, so that's the end of week 8 of single page applications as the topic for this week. Just finished the sprint challenge and it wasn't too difficult. We had a really good examples and um, lessons from earlier in the week. So the project was working basically with a, a smurf village and we were rendering out different smurfs. Uh, we can add different data if we want to. And I think the crux of it was trying to learn to use the different HTTP request methods, things like post, delete, um, put, and uh, the other one, get, yeah. <laughs> and so I was able to get everything working properly. I was able to add a smurf, delete a smurf, and update a smurf. And then uh, I was rendering out different components as well. So everything worked out just great. Uh, so I made it to the stretch uh, challenges as well. So I'm pretty proud of myself this week. And um, there's still a lot of things about React Router that are cool. Um, specifically this week, I picked up how to use with router and how to use Navlink. Those are two, two kind of more, um, more advanced, not too advanced, but like, you know, a, a level of step up above what you learn from the basics. And I thought it was a pretty good week overall, and there's always so much more to learn, of course. Um, one new thing I'll check out next week, or this weekend, is a book called Full Stack React, and it's talking about uh, all the different technologies in the React ecosystem, and I think it's going to be amazing, because I, it's 800 pages of pure knowledge, it's almost like a Bible, in a sense, so it's going to be talking about JavaScript, React. Uh, Redux, uh, Flux, and 
I think GraphQL is in there too. So an amazing resource. I am excited, super excited to check this out. And that's it for this week. And I hope you guys enjoyed um, hearing more about Lambda School. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to shoot me a message or reach out to me on Twitter, on YouTube, or whatever you'd like. And hope you have a great week. And for everyone that's in the path of the storm, stay safe and hope you make it through all right uh, without any damages or anything like that. So that's it for me. And I'm going to sign off. See you later.